this is Diane at the Picket Fan Greenhouse and Gardens and today we're going to be talking about hardy hibiscus and I collected some seeds from some hibiscus plants outside here just probably a week or two ago and I'm going to be showing you them seeds but I wanted to talk a little bit about the hardy hibiscus. Hardy hibiscus like a wet area, they like sun and they like heat. A lot of the hibiscus won't come up till later in the spring in our area, I think we got it in late May is when our pink clouds hardy hibiscus comes up. And they are dinner size, a lot of them are dinner size flower blossoms. They bloom for a day and then they're done. But they produce a lot of flowers. And they get to be, they can range from different sizes, but they can range from two foot to four foot, maybe a little taller. but. Uh, I have a couple here today. I'm going to show you the seeds I took off of them. Now these are not to be identical plant taken from the original plant. This year I saved some seeds from the, the Disco Bell uh, Red, it's only like a two footer. And I saved some seeds, a lot of seeds. And I'm going to see next year what color I get. You know, I'm okay with getting different colors. Let's look at the seeds right now. One thing about the seeds is you want to make sure, usually you can collect the seeds in September and October of the season, and I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, these are the seed pods of the hardy hibiscus pink clouds, and I'm going to show you a couple photos of this hibiscus before we get started on the seed. So I'll give you a couple seconds and we'll check that out. As you can see, these are brown, they're crispy, and you can see some of them are already coming open. They're splitting open, okay? You can see the seeds in them, okay? And all I will have to do to get them out is to open them up. You can see some seeds that fall in here already. I'm gonna let them dry for a little bit longer, but they're pretty close to being dry. But you can see the, seed, the seeds inside right there and see how they've opened up. But you want to make sure this is what happened. They're, they got to be brown on the plant, turning brown. And if the, and the seed pod, if it's popping open, yeah, it's a very good indication they're ready to be cut off and saved. Okay. But we got a lot of seeds here from the pink clouds. And I think this is just fun to do. I like to start things from seed. I haven't had a lot of trouble starting them from seed. They seem to be pretty easy to do. So... But here's a bunch of little ones down, down in here. As you can see the little ones. I'm going to go through them and I'll go through and pick the best ones and go from there. Okay, the next hibiscus seeds is the Disco Bell Red. This is kind of a wine red hibiscus. Only a two footer and I'll show you pictures of them right now. Now, as you can see, I've got quite a few seeds here already, and I just want to show you what this looks like. Look at all the seeds in there. Isn't that something? And there's going to be a lot of them. I'm going to have a lot of them, but I do not know. I've never done these from seed, and I do not know what they're going to look like come next year. So it'll just be fun to do. It's kind of an experiment thing. So, But look at them all. There's going to be, I'll go through these and pick the better seeds out, and I'll probably start them in January, okay? So these are collecting seeds from your hardy hibiscus. Fun to do and it does work. And uh, if you guys got any comments, questions about doing so, uh, just place it on this video. I'll help you as much as I can. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.